given the function f of x equals x minus one divided by x plus five, and we're asked some questions about this function. So before we answer these questions, let's go ahead and look at what the graph of this function will look like. So I'm gonna to go to my y equals, and in my numerator, I'm gonna enter x minus one, and notice I'm gonna put that in parentheses. It's important to help the calculator understand exactly what you mean by the function that you're inputting. And then the denominator is x plus five. I'm gonna to go to my window and make sure that I'm on a standard window, which I am, and then I'm going to press graph. So what we see is a graph that has two pieces. Now both of these pieces are indeed part of the function. So this entire image represents, I would say a piece of the function that's on this window, but both of these parts of the graph are important and are part of the graph of the function. So let's look at the domain. When we're looking at the domain on the graph, what we're looking for is places where the graph skips and that's called the vertical asymptote for these types of functions. So to find the domain, what I want to do, it seems a little bit backwards, but I want to take the denominator, set it equal to zero. So in this case, we get x equals negative five. And then we say that our domain is essentially all real numbers not equal to negative five. So this process finds the value of x that we cannot use in the domain, and then our domain is every value except that one. And if you look at the graph and you count over to negative five, you'll see that that is exactly where the vertical asymptote will lie on the visual image here for the function. So giving the equation of the vertical asymptote, then when we solve here, we get that equation by default. So that is x equals negative five is the equation of the vertical line. It's a guideline, but it's also a line that the function values will not cross. We cannot use negative five as input. So there will be no outputs associated with an input of negative five. Let's look at the horizontal asymptote and that's gonna be a little bit different I'm gonna go up to my function and what I wanna do is look at the ratio of the highest degree terms. So I'm gonna make a ratio or a fraction and I'm gonna say that my outputs approach that ratio, x over x. So if I'd had three x, I would put three x. If I'd had five x down here, it would be five x. And I'm gonna reduce that and that equals one. Therefore, my horizontal asymptote is the equation y equals one. And if I look at my graph and I go up to one here, if I were to draw a horizontal line, that would be a guideline for the output values of the function, especially for inputs that are very, very large. So if you look at this function, if I have a large number like 10 million subtracted one from it, 10 million plus five, the net effect of the negative one or the minus one into five is gonna be insignificant. The ratio is gonna be very, very close to one. And so that's just a guideline for the function as the values of X get very large in the positive direction or in the negative direction. To find the vertical intercept, what we want to do is to evaluate F of zero. So we are inputting zero for the input value and then whatever comes out is where our graph crosses the vertical axis. So if I put in zero, I get negative one fifth. That means I should have the ordered pair zero, negative one fifth on my graph. And if I look, it's kind of hard to tell here because the scale is not gonna show, but it's very close to zero. So assuming we did our mathematics right here, we have the vertical intercept. And if we want to write that as a decimal, that would be negative 0 0.20.